Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. In this one, we're gonna play through a couple modes, including Road to Glory campaign, and we're gonna do a Survivors. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode here. We got a couple deck updates to go through, not too much to go through in the actual game, just because we did a live stream yesterday. If you guys didn't check out that live stream, I urge you to go back and check out the replay. It was of such a fun show. I love doing live streams with you guys. Maybe I'll live stream Supercard more often. I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but let me know if you guys would like that or not, or if you tuned into the live stream yesterday. So uh, once again, I don't have too many deck updates just because I updated you guys yesterday, but I do have a couple. One of them being I was able to pro up this Joe Coffee and uh, single fortify him, and then I got another one, so I double fortified him. The rate at with which I'm getting Tempest cards is much faster than I can actually pro them up. So I have a strong feeling I'm not going to be proing all of them up that I have because by the time I get to them, I, I will be much higher than, uh, than needing Tempest cards by then. So I have four Becky Lynch's right now, two Asuka's, two Cody's, two Blair Davenport's, three Roman Reigns. I don't even know what I've gotten since the last episode. You see all these, oh, I have, sorry, I have five Becky Lynch's. <laughs> I didn't see this one at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to pro up here. The females I'll probably do, so I'm probably gonna do like one or two more males just to help with my Road to Glory deck, although I'm close to done Road to Glory. And then I'm gonna use uh, the rest of the time to just pro up the females because those females will be a lot more valuable to me right now than the males. Since I have almost an entire deck of uh, detention males here, I almost completely got rid of all my Pantheon cards. I keep clicking at the top for the deck editor. Yeah, as you can see, most of my deck is filled up there with detention cards, so that helps. Uh, and then pretty soon I'll start getting Noir ones after that. So. The Tempest won't be usable, uh, uh, yeah, useful for too long. But one other thing I did get this morning actually was really awesome is this JD McDonough Pro. So I was just looking through the Superstore and I didn't realize that JD McDonough was actually the uh, detention superstar that you can just buy uh, from the Superstore. Like you just need to spend some credits and then you get that card. So I just went ahead and got it because I'm like, okay, I already have one 7,000 super coins. I think it's worth it. So it's my fro first pro. This is my first pro detention card here, so I'm really happy to have gotten that. I'm just in the middle of doing his matches right now, but once that's all proed up, I think he's gonna be my second best card. Yeah, not my best card, but he'll be my second best card because, or third best if you count Lita as well, but I'm just talking about the male division. He'll pass my mankind, but that's it. Um, he's not gonna get past Austin Theory because Austin Theory is a crucible. So I'm looking forward to proing that up sometime tomorrow or something but i hopefully do it before tomorrow but we'll see uh it's hard to get those pvp games in with so many different game modes going on now all right so as mentioned guys i'm, uh, I'm not going to be going through too much information here so we're going to be playing quite a bit let's get down my road to glory bouts a little bit here uh so we'll do a couple road to glory matches maybe just one or two here and then probably do a survivor and then we'll finish off with a little bit of campaign see how far we can get in campaign right now one thing i did do in the forging section which maybe i shouldn't have done i don't know should i have done it actually yeah there's a deck update i didn't show you from all this but anyway what i did is i forged a bobby lashley card bobby lashley tempest card not because i need it but because that was the last card i needed to finish the foundation set and then i got a detention card right after that and that detention was this one right here in the in the second slot i guess you'd say which is this cody rhodes who tags very well with jd mcdonough here so i got that cody rhodes detention card as well uh, from doing that uh forging so forging does have his uses it's like the fact that you can specifically choose what superstar you want to get and be able to uh forge it is pretty nice actually it's it does help quite a bit because you can do things like this when you're looking for specific cards or trying to fix uh finish up foundation sets it does help quite a bit all right so yeah i'm just doing plus ones as you guys saw in my live stream yesterday i gave you most of an update um or sorry yesterday when i recorded this but hit it uh, a couple days ago by the time you're watching this yeah at this point i'm just trying to get the tony d'angelo i uh, got a couple matches left here i think about how many points do i need off the top of my head probably like 65 points probably so i'll probably i uh, will get it by today based on how things are going i'm not gonna be able to get that cruisable andre chase just because I've had to do plus ones for too long, uh, but uh, I was expecting that anyway. I, I was honestly, I think it helped that I got a bunch of detention cards and stuff throughout Road to Glory, so it helped boost my deck a little bit throughout. But I think, I thought, honestly, I wasn't even sure if I would get past the detention card. I wasn't sure at what point I would hit the wall, but I hit it a little bit later than I thought. So I started like right at the beginning of Tony D'Angelo. So I've done most of Tony D'Angelo with plus ones. I've been able to 
uh, squeeze in a couple plus threes and things like that but that's really it the nice thing about having a lot of single cards in your like road to glory deck for example instead of pros is that when you eventually get or if you eventually get a card to pro that up with then you would have done most of them if not all of the matches for that card just based on your road to glory games so that's cool <laughs> But uh, so that's been, been nice to have all the detention cards. But yeah, at this point, the plus ones have been pretty easy. Haven't minded them too much. So uh, I think I'm no, I was about to say, I think I might get a perfect victory here. And then I immediately lost IRS and Channing stacks Lorenzo. What a team here. What? They beat me. I guess they're two noir cards. But anyway, these stats differences, man, are crazy the the variation in stats now it really does make a difference to the game and the gameplay and i think so you know how like first of all they reduce the boosts in general like they're just not as big anymore so instead of for example for the defend instead of getting getting 15 percent you actually get uh a 10 percent boost or stuff like that and they do that across the board to all the boosts so you're not like even if you do get a boost at this point you're not even guaranteed to win anymore like if you have the same level card per, per se uh like the combination of reducing those boosts and increasing the stat differences between cards really makes things unpredictable and it's not like guaranteed you're gonna win or lose based off a of boost anymore which i really like and then also the other part is that i think they reduce the tag team boost and negative effect as well for having a tag team so that one, I'm just guessing. I'm not 100% sure. So uh, even if you have a tag team boost and stuff, once again, you're not actually guaranteed to win. So it actually ch completely changes the way you play Survivor because there's been some people, like I, I think I did a match, yeah, where I had a pro. What happened? Yeah, we both had, I, I had a pro and a single. We were using Crucibles. They had a two singles. We both had perfect tag teams and they still won the match. And it was because like my, my two superstars uh, biggest stat was speed and the thing was power and their thing was power if that makes sense their biggest stat was power so it was really um i think i'm gonna get rid of luke gallows here uh, it really does matter the cards now uh and what uh actual stat it is so that uh, really does change how you play survivor here so i'll get rid of luke gallows so those better superstars are really a lot more worth it now than before and i got head banger i don't know his name uh oh god you know what forget it i was gonna save a tag team but we might as well oh this is a tag team match i'm not even paying attention there we go all right undertaker and mosh I'm gonna take this victory here perfect tag team axiom and la knight yeah oh he got a tag damn it yeah that screwed me over Okay, speed, Rey Mysterio, can't get any better than that. Even if it's Axiom, we got our win. Perfect. So we don't have a tag team. I'm not, that's not what I meant to say. We don't have, I don't like how his ears are outside of his mask in that photo. <laughs> that looked kind of weird. Um, we don't have, ooh, everyone's playing well. What am I trying to say? I keep interrupting myself. We don't have a pro. Jesus. I am going to get rid of Rey Mysterio because Mosh, I'll get a fortified. Uh, but I'll take Undertaker here because it's Undertaker. Uh, probably get rid of Axiom. Yeah, we're gonna, getting rid of Axiom. Okay, bye bye Axiom. Give me, I'll take another Mosh if you want to get rid of Mosh. Okay, Omos. Omosh. Oh, <laughs> ha ha ha. See, but like now I'm thinking if I go Omos and Undertaker, I think that might be better for me than oh, than Undertaker and Mosh. You see what the, how big the stat difference is? I'm going to go Omos and Undertaker. Like, let's see. This is a perfect test. We're about to find out. Actually, I think I was wrong. No, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a reversal, though. I don't think that's going to help. Um, all right. So there's a test for you. <laughs> Let's go LA Knight. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. So I screwed myself based on a test there. But that's okay. I guess maybe like... It only really matters if it's like the top, top stat versus the bottom, bottom stat. So the Mosh, Mosh's bottom stat was speed, actually. So if it had been another superstar, maybe it would have been. So that kind of makes it tough to decide now. You got to kind of do a lot of calculations. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep going with tag teams like I usually do and figure it out later. 
That was annoying that I lost that. Either way, the first one I would have tied. The second one I would have, well, it depends what he would have put of, what he would have put based on the first one. But if we assume it's the same, we would have tied the first one. I would have, uh, he would have won the second one. I would have won the third one. And then it would have been a randomizer. So either way, I was either going to tie or lose that match. So it's what it is. I don't have a pro. I didn't have a pro. Now I have a pro Undertaker, which is quite crazy indeed. I'm going to pro up that Undertaker. And then depending on what I get, uh, if I don't get anything good, I'll probably get rid of LA Knight. Let the blue arrow sitch keep going. And both, I think, Omos and Mosh are fortified potential through my randomizer. So yeah, that makes the most sense. Okay, come on guys. Like you just played the first match perfectly and now you're gonna screw around. Okay, let's pro up the Undertaker here. Okay, got Rey Mysterio again. Um, I didn't get rid of Rey Mysterio. I just put him in my randomizer, correct? And Omos, yeah, it's double four. Yeah, let's get rid of LA Knight. Yep, makes the most sense, 100%. So let's get rid of LA Knight. Bye bye to LA Knight and Axiom, damn it. Okay, tag team. I don't know if I wanted to fire off my pro that early. I shouldn't have, I should have gone Rey and somebody. That's okay. But that is okay, unless he's trying to completely sacrifice this game. I don't know. Ugh, I don't want to. All right. Oh, yeah, he is trying to sacrifice this game. Okay, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. You could have given me, like, something I need, though, instead of Axiom. <laughs> I can't complain, can I? See, look, there you go. Got a boost with Axiom, but Omos' top stat, or one of his top stats, is toughness. Axiom's one of his bottom stat is toughness, and then Omos still wins. So boosts don't really guarantee a win anymore. Like, it, it, before Season 10, if you got a boost in Survivor, you were more or less guaranteed, unless it was like a single versus a pro. But if they were the same level, you were more or less guaranteed a victory on that one. But it's no longer the case. Let's move out Axiom here. So we got our pick. Uh, let's go Rey Mysterio. He's the top one. Or should I have done one of the other two because they have fortified? But whatever, that's fine. I think Omos is probably better than Mosh. That is correct, so I'll get rid of Mosh. And then we got our tag team, Ray and Undertaker. And then uh, hopefully we can get an Omos to pro up here. Okay. All right. This is looking pretty good so far. Bye bye to Mosh. Give me Omosh. Omosh, get it? Okay. Another Axiom. Nobody wants Axiom. All right. Let's just go Axiom, whatever. Get rid of this right off the bat, and I'm gonna lose that to Mosh, damn it. That was stupid. I'll admit that was stupid. Uh, we'll go Pro Undertaker. Ah, uh, damn it. Baited me. Should I use a super move? <laughs> you think I should use a super move? Maybe. Because I feel like his last, he's gotta have at least one Pro, so I'm gonna say, Use the super move. Yeah, he did. Perfect. Okay, good use of a super move. I'm happy with that. Even though it was a bit early to use a super move, it guaranteed the win. So I am good with that. You can't ask for much more from a super move than winning you a match when you would have otherwise wise loss. If that happens with a super move, then I I'm good with it. I don't care where else it would have gone. I sometimes try to save it for the very last match because that if you make it to the very end with a super move, that usually guarantees a victory-ish. I, I wouldn't say guarantees because they could have a super move. A lot of things can happen in the finals, so. Or it might be, I'd say you have a 75% chance if you can get all the way to the end with a super move. But anyway, let's pro up Rey Mysterio here. So I want Omos, I might get Axiom here. Okay, I got Ricochet. I'll get rid of Ricochet because I still have a single fortified chance at Axiom and apparently everyone's getting rid of him anyway, so I have a higher chance to get him. But I'm probably hoping for an Omos, although, eh. I mean, o Omos is definitely better than Axiom, but uh, you got the blue arrow connection, you know what I'm saying. All right, get rid of Ricochet. Omos, okay, perfect, I'm happy with that. All right, let's go Axiom here, that's fine. I was thinking about doing Rey Mysterio, but he got a freaking boost. All right, I'm not gonna do a pro tag team, but I will do Omos and Rey Mysterio, even if he has the boost there. Okay, I'm good with that. Want a singles match here. I think it's, if this is a singles match, okay, I got an overrun. Yeah, it's a tag team match though. Yeah, only a 4%. Damn it, he had a tag team. Oh, I needed that to be a singles match. Damn it. Crap. Okay. Okay. We got two losses here. Even if I, I'm trying to think back to the first match. 
was the first match you used that single fortified LA Knight, and I think it was power or a charisma and speed. I feel like if I put Rey Mysterio, I would have won that, but I would have lost a future one as well. I don't know. I don't know if I could have won that. Anyway, we made it into the top four here, five. We made it into top five. So that's pretty good, at least. Pro up Omos. We got our three pros here. Covered every single stat except Ray's mostly a tag team or going to be exclusively a tag team. Um, I'll get rid of LA Knight again because I might get <laughs> another Axiom. And I still have a, two Oma, I have two Omoses in my randomizer to make a uh, double fortified. Don't have any more Ray Mysterios or Undertakers, though. So that's not amazing, but. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, right? There we go. We got four pros, which is like, I always have find a way to complain, eh? Let's go Omos and Ray. I don't want to use Undertaker right now because I'd rather have Undertaker as a single star. Okay, so we use two pros here. Or, I mean, uh, he baited me with two singles. Let's go double Axiom. Yeah, so that might not be amazing because I might not be able to get those Omos fortifieds now, but... That's okay. Give me power toughness. Give me power toughness. Give me power toughness. It's charisma and you got a boost. So I'm going to lose this match. Oh, but I have a reverse. No, he has Undertaker anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. That's the end, guys. That's the end of Survivor. So I got the top five. Kind of fell apart a little towards the end there. I was losing a couple matches. So I don't think... I'm not too disappointed in that loss because there's not much else I could have done. Still got in the top four. I'll get it. Oh, I thought I would have got a Tempest but I only got a couple of Pantheons. Okay, but I did get a rarity draft pick, so that's good. It seems like the primary way to actually get these fusion tokens is actually through Survivor now. And, oh, we're getting into detention. We're going to detention. Oh, Alexa Bliss, nice. Okay, another female, nice. I think that's only the third female detention card I have, so that's awesome. Boom, okay. I'm happy with that. At least we got a detention card, right? So I cannot complain whatsoever. Let's train her up here. What is my road to glory? I'm almost at detention and road to glory. I wonder. No, I don't want to do this. I'm going to just try one plus three and just see how it goes. Cause it's like still Tempest here and I'm close ish to the end of Tempest. So I wonder if I can squeeze out a plus three here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Bad start. <laughs> See, I don't understand how we, like they have crucible cards if they're supposed to be Tempest. Like, but they're going to have, a, like, I, I know that was just one, but they're going to have a bunch of crucible cards and noir cards, but they're only in Tempest. So I don't know how that really balances out. Carlito got a boost here. It might help him out. Not enough. And a detention pro. So like, I don't, I don't understand how that equates. So we, in that round, they had two noirs, a, temp, a detention pro and a crucible. And that only equates to Tempest. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, let's go these two. Mm, see, another noir, another detention. Like, that is not Tempest, dude. You would be at least in detention by now. Go to detention. Damn it, I tried to... Yeah, I'm not going to win this match. I mean, it's 4-2. I'm a little behind, but let's go Cena and... You know what? We'll use a boost here. Cena and... Brutus Creed. I might have got it yes okay i got that one that's good so four three uh oh okay no we're still good those damn reversals scare me now uh let's go okay got a tag on that nice okay four four and we got lita now lita's a guaranteed w uh, hey five four five four into the last round here i don't have my super move which i probably should have got beforehand but let me go these two. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I think we lost that one. So it's five all now. I just need to win one of these two matches and then I can pull out the victory. Uh, do drop, do drop, do drop. Okay. It's all up to Rob Van Dam now. <laughs> No, that's a loss. Oh, God, guys, come on. All right, so I can't do th plus threes. <laughs> Cannot do plus threes. Uh, I don't know, I keep getting cards, so I thought maybe I could, but I think I'm, I'm going quicker than I'm scaling in cards, so. Anyway, let's do a couple of campaign mode uh, matches here. See how far we can get. So we're doing only left arrows, which is not my strong suit here. My strong suits are yellow arrows right now. 
and uh well, actually this alexa bliss help uh, a little bit but uh yeah my strong suit is left arrows i mean up and down arrows so we'll see we'll see how this goes we're in charisma go dirty dom here okay power for brutus i think i should be okay on this and then we got alexa and Rhea, which should be good as well all right three star victory there so it looks like the boss that i'm coming up on here is china this is the first female boss i've gone against so i wonder if no, that doesn't make sense. It's always going to be wild. So I was going to say maybe I'm going to face more female cards, but no, I think it's going to be the same. Just one of the cards is going to be China in there is what I believe is going to happen. We got Charisma here. <coughs> Alexa Bliss. Going to get that one. Got Toughness for Rhea. Boom. Nice victory. We're going to finish off here with Brutus and Dominic. Dominic Mysterious. And that's another victory. Boom. Another three star victory, I should say. I originally said when I was going like gonna go through campaign mode that I think I'm just gonna go as far as I can and then get the three stars after, but I actually think I'm not gonna do that. I changed my mind on that strategy just once I started playing it because first of all, the rewards are just Forge tokens, that's it. I thought there were gonna be more rewards than that. The other rewards are these like campaign stars, but they're pretty good, but they don't come that often. So I think I'm just going to push for three stars so I don't have to go through it twice, kind of. Um, I have, these guys saw on the live stream, I have, um, or if you watch the live stream, I did lose, I didn't lose. I did get through a match without getting three stars, but I was able to go back and redo it. So I'm already running into, a, not, not a wall, I just lost it because it, it was like a female match that wasn't really good for females and it was only right arrows. It was Kalani Jordan is the only option I had for that. And uh, she was a Pantheon card. So having these arrow specific and stat specific matches do actually make a difference here. So even if you have like a, a overall deck, that's good there's still a chance that you'll run into a wall a lot earlier than expected just because of these stipulations and stuff. So let me just, I'll get through this boss and then I think we can wrap it up there, guys. Go Brutus and Dom here. Brutus and Dom, Brutus and Dom. Oh, actually, Balor is better here. We'll give him a boost as well, just in case. Boom, getting the victory over Bobby Lashley. But I am already facing Pantheon pros here and like half my deck as far as like arrows and stuff is Pantheon pros. So I might start running into issues pretty soon already. So it does scale pretty quickly, but another three stars there. We're gonna finish off with China. How much do I have left here of this rookie? So there's 84 matches and I'm on. Okay, so I'm over halfway. I guess it says right on the side there, on the right side, how far I am. So I'm pretty close to the end of the rookie one actually. So maybe I can advance to the what is the next one? Amateur one pretty soon. Well, we're going up against the boss China here. China boss. And <clears throat> I think we may be able to get through this okay. The nice thing about this campaign mode is that you can use the super move. So there, if there is just one card that like everything's going well, but just one of your cards is not able to make it through, then you can just subsidize it with a super move and still get through it. So that is nice. You will still, uh, eventually run into issues when you need to win multiple of them. So in this one, usually in the boss one, it looks like you have to use every single card you have. So um, in those situations, it, you might run into issues. But anyway, got through it with a three star there. Nonetheless, China apparently needs an ice pack. <laughs> and we got through that. Perfect. The next one we're going up against here is Joe Coffee. Got a couple more pro crystals, but that's it, guys. That's all that's really going on. I'm going through campaign mode as quickly as I can here to try and get that last reward, which is the Scott Hall limited edition crucible card. But I don't know. I feel like there's some people who are really speeding through it here because there's people who are buying cards and stuff. And if they buy cards and they can get through the campaign a lot faster because they'll have crucible cards and be able to scale a lot faster. So I need to go through amateur and then the pro one. Who's the very last boss of the entire thing? Let's see. Rey Mysterio, odd choice. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's all that's going on in Supercard. Um, I like these videos where we just, instead of going through information and things coming up, we just play. Because at the end of the game, it's a, 
At the end of the game, at the end of the day, it is a game, is what I meant to say. We're gonna finish off Road to Glory this weekend, get that Tony D'Angelo card. On Wednesday, uh, we're starting out with the Gobbledygooker uh, special edition quest with uh, some collectible eggs and things like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I feel like it's probably not gonna be a Crucible card. I feel like at most it's gonna be a Noir card. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that uh, event. Uh, we haven't had a Gobbledygooker quest for a while so i'm happy to bring that back and then we're gonna play some giants unleash next weekend loving season 10 so far guys let me know what you think of season 10 how you guys are doing and how you guys did in road to glory this weekend i would love to hear it thanks so much for stopping by guys hope you did enjoy those subscribe button right underneath me here some more videos on the right and i'll catch you guys in the next one